creatures as passion and instinct dissolved long ago. Frustrate singers and actors that try to act through me, but don't have the courage to act on their own. They're stuck in the spin wheel of false security, the pinwheel of mediocrity. They want me to drag them up with me. Scholarship I was hoping for. <laughs> scholarship? D, you have lousy grades. So I failed a few classes freshman year. I couldn't help it. Right. I was too involved in theater. Ooh. Why they want me to take all those stupid classes I'll have no use for is beyond me. <gasps> to be or not to be? That is the question. <laughs> oh, don't open the scarf, and on oh, and on. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the green room. Oh, this place is so cool. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of a grotto. Grotto? Translation, shithole. <laughs> Cliff? This is Devon Bruder, my best friend. Comment allez-vous, madame? <laughs> Say, you're kind of cute. How would you come to my dorm sometime? I'll give you some toilet access. Yeah, girl. So, this is where you hang out during shows? Oh, not just during shows, all the time. This is the hang out. <laughs> we own this place. We chased everyone else off. Dad, I told you, I am not going to draw back in. I'll just double major in architecture. I'm losing you. Go into a tunnel. Dad, Dad. Hey, guys. Who's this nerd? Is it Rush Week? Cliff, this is John, my boyfriend. And you're out of here. John! What? Stop it! Anna, this is our private theater club. That's right. Why should we let this geek into our clique? Yeah. He's my big brother. And he's smart. And sincere. There is no sin in sincere. There is no hell in hello. <laughs> there is no sad in sadistic. There is no hope when we're closed here. That didn't make sense. If we, we are going to spend our time knowing you don't sit there blowing new 
smoke up our asses. We are the in crowd. We grant no free passes. Cause we brought stuff. I, I got three leads senior year. <gasps> oh my god. Your high school stuff don't mean shit. the theater department into doing God songs. His god-awful musical tribute to the Bible. How much of the Bible? The whole damn thing. Will the Jews be excused at intermission after the Old Testament? Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> this could be my big chance! There's all kinds of wonderful roles for me. There's Eve, Mary, the saint and the whore, Lot's wife, and come with me. Uh, why? I need to drop by the library to check out a copy of the Bible. Uh, shouldn't you already own a Bible? That's not how Devon rolls. Now, let's go before some other broad nabs it. Or better still, we can nab one from the Motel 6. Now that's how Devon rolls. Hey, yeah, it's done. How did you pop tonight on sometime and I'll show you the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Acting, Devon! Focus on acting. That is my problem. She was hitting on me. Devon? <laughs> Don't get mixed up with her, man. She doesn't care about anything except theater. Oh, but I live for the theater, too. I die for the theater. It's a perfect match. That's the kind of girl I could marry. Marry? Are you nuts? The biggest fringe benefit of being a theater major is the sex. <laughs> then what are you doing to hook it up with Anna? She's not gonna have sex till she's married. <laughs> no, no, no. She's about to give in. I know how to handle a leading lady. You gotta be the boss, dear boy. You see, women want a brute, a caveman who's gonna knock them over the head and drag them back into the cave. Who are you, Stanley Kowalski? <laughs> Come on, man, release your inner tiger. Come on, give me a grab. Wait, try this. Marriage, bad! You try it. For this. Ah, use your brain. Think of all the world famous Class A bachelors. Like James Buchanan. Who? James Buchanan, the 15th president of the United States. The only bachelor president. No, Geek Squad. I'm talking about real men. 
Hemingway. MacArthur. The Pope. <laughs> Liberace. <laughs> About his hair, but his math was not too bad. He looked at ABC and he thought he studied and then he found an evil MC square. But he couldn't go to prom because he just made the bomb and all the girls in town were scared. He, he was a bachelor, 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 be a bachelor. I'll be a bachelor, you a bachelor, be a bachelor, be a bachelor, be a bachelor, be a bachelor. Can you respect I'm married? Because he never had come back back. My tail of the hunt was in love with a hunt. myself alone with you. This is an opportunity I've asked on heaven many a time, so now in vain. Tartu, all that I wish is just a word from you, quite frank and open, hiding nothing from me. I too could wish, as heaven's especial favor, mm, sorry, okay, to lay my soul quite open to your eyes and to swear to you that the trouble I made about those visits, which your charms attract, does not result from any hatred toward you, but rather from a passionate devotion. That is how I take it. I think it is my salvation that concerns you. Madam, it is so, and such a But you squeezed too hard. Oh, sir. excess of zeal. In no way could I ever mean to hurt you. And I'd as soon die than... What's your hand doing there? <laughs> Feeling your gout. <laughs> the stuff is quite soft. The beehive! Thank you. I'm very ticklish. Dear me, how wonderful a workmanship this lace is. <laughs> they do marvels nowadays. Things like this were never better made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get a spark out of it because you're playing it so frigid. <gasps> Moliere is a classic. It's about style, not about sex. <sighs> Besides, my character is simply trying to resist your advances. You're playing hard to get, but your inner monologue is you want it. <gasps> I disagree. My character is simply in control of her sexual urges. <sighs> Maybe. That's her problem. Maybe that's your problem, too. What? Nothing. Nothing. Um, let's just uh, get back to the scene. No. What did you mean by that? Okay. Take a seat. Okay. 
I really hate to state the obvious, but we've been dating since spring, and we still haven't had sex. Oh, Cliff and Devon have been doing it for weeks. I really like you. all the time. 
Not a big deal. No. EPT. What is that, a new course curriculum? <laughs> Cliff, I think I might be pregnant. Pregnant! It looks that way. This is wonderful news. Are you crazy? Mm. This will destroy all my oh. checks of being an actress. No, it won't. No, it won't. Devon. <laughs> Will you marry me? Have you completely lost your mind? The course of true love did never run smooth. You have no idea what a baby is. I've seen them in pictures. <laughs> <laughs> they are a huge responsibility. We could become St. Gustav's first theater family. Like the Lunds. Or the Barrymores. What? He could be born in a trunk right here in the green room. Oh, and we could put his little playpen over there. Devon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we can have lots of babies. Little Cliffs and little Devons running all around. Care to waltz? to meet you back here for, uh, uh, stage combat class. Yeah, I've got sword, 
And foil ready, good Sir John. And wonderful news. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll let you score a point this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. John, I have the most exciting news to tell you. Woo! <laughs> Me and Devon are going to have a baby. What? Touche! <laughs> Jeez, man, I, you scared me half to death. I thought you might have been serious. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> okay, round two, round two. Oh, yeah. I am serious. I just asked her to marry me. What? Touche! Two zero! I gave her. Cliff, what happened to bachelorhood? It was good while it lasted. Will you be my best man? Cliff, you're a freshman in college. With enough credits to be a sophomore. Mm -hmm. You're living in a fantasy world, man. What would you rather do, raise a kid or finish college? Both. We've already discussed it. Cliff, you're in are you insane? You not up your girlfriend. <laughs> Don't be a party no. pooper, Anna. Save God songs. Mine's a little revealing. <laughs> oh, it'll help Peterson sell a swan song. Yeah. It's not the best play in the world, but we've managed to pull it together. Devon! Get your diva butt out here! I'm almost done! I'm just putting the finishing touches on my costume! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your five minute call. Five minutes to curtain. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Now it's time to go and get your butt out here. All right, hold your hats and hallelujah. Here comes Mama. <laughs> Ta-da! I turned the role of Bernie Bush into a star vehicle. Honey, you look sensational. I've never seen a lovelier bush. <laughs> Thank you! Now let's get to work. We have five minutes to fix this disastrous red sea scene. Right. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, set up, let's go. And then God who was disguised as a burning bush, said to Moses, I am who I am. Just like Popeye. <laughs> 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 
Stick to the script, please. Okay. What is that in your hand? My big staff. He replied. But Moses was slow of tongue and speech. I am slow of tongue and speech. John! Can you please take this seriously? Sorry. I will go over there and see this strange sight. Just because Charlton Heston couldn't act doesn't mean you shouldn't. Ever since Peterson made you assistant director, you've been so bossy. I'm up here trying to save this clunker while you're goofing off, and we open in five minutes. You're so immature. At least I have lines. Yes, and you don't take them very seriously, because if acting doesn't work out for you, you go work for your dad's little architectural firm. Acting is all I've got. Stop arguing, you two. You guys, it's opening night. We have to pull this together. This show sucks. Oh, I could write a better show in my sleep. Well, why don't you write one with a great part for me? Well, as it happens to be, I'm halfway through a two-part play that'll star just the four of us. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys, we have to get to our spots. Oh, that's right. Mom and Dad are here. <laughs> You're millionaire, Dad? Hey, if I'm good, do you think they'll adopt me? Oh, God. He might end up helping all of us if we go to New York together, but if we can't get along while we're doing this, we'll fall apart before we graduate. <clears throat> okay. Devon, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Let's try the song. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> <clears throat> Skeptics throughout our history, and so, so it was when Moses approached the cold red sea. I see you standing on that bush. Get the fire fluid up it. The, the last, last thing the world needs is a pyromaniac prophet. Don't try to part the water. Don't try to part the water, you only part the fish, you're such, such a mystic, be realistic, you'll never part that H2O, you'll never part that H2O, it's not the time for metaphysics, we're clearly really in a jam, but we can still follow the coastline, come on now, let's take it on the land, no pun intended, just don't try to part the water, not even on You're such a mystic, realistic. You'll never part that H2O, Mo. You'll never part that H2O. Places, everyone, places. Bring in the curtain. No.
were incandescent, <gasps> effervescent. <sighs> Amazing beyond <gasps> words! I just gave the performance a lifetime! I gave it all. Oh, oh I'm spent. <laughs> 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 Rest yourself. We wouldn't want to harm our little one. Oh, Cliff, great news. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> My prayers were answered. Well, well, we can start again right away. <laughs> You're begging me for a son. My dad's begging me for a grandson. I don't even want a cat. You'll feel differently soon. Cliff, I don't know how to say this, but I'm breaking up with you. No, you're not. No, you're not. We're getting married. No, Cliff. 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 No, we're not. Um, Coke. I'll get. You need a Coke. You need a Coke. Oh, you need a Coke. Cliff. Sure, but I think I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I can I can deal with that. I don't mind if you wear the pants in this relationship. Strike for God songs. I know this is important. She broke up with you in the middle of the show last night? It was brutal! <laughs> she barraged me with insults. I've never felt so bad in all my life. Well, had she been fighting? No. That's the thing. Everything was going perfectly. You know what? I bet you this whole time, she was just using me for sex. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. <laughs> I must have been out of my brain.
got the all you want to do is do me blue <laughs> If women are from Venus And men from Mars are screwed These women from Venus They coax us and wean us Then tell us our penis won't do <laughs> Jerry just had a heart attack. If he recovers, he's retiring. 
My dad wants me to start interning at the firm next month. Uh, John, you're an, you're an actor. You're not an architect. This is $70,000 a year to start. Plus, I don't have the firm in five years. Hmm. What about what about us and and Devon and Cliff? Well, I'm only an hour away. Just get out of my way! <laughs> nice get up, Devon. She's only been a lesbian for 24 hours, and she already has the tool belt. <laughs> And it's bigger than yours. <laughs> Peterson thinks you're a no-show. I'll be right back. You look like a truck hit you. Uh, a kind of truck, yeah. What did John say? Uh, he's a... Uh, he's... He's leaving school. Why? His father offered him a, a partnership. $70,000 a year. What a sellout! He'll regret it forever. We have to help him. It's hard to compete with big amounts of cash. I know you rich kids don't always understand that. <laughs> We're not rich. Your dad bought you a Porsche for your birthday. Uh, lots of people get cars for their birthdays. Anna, you were 11. <laughs> okay, Devon, let's just focus for a minute. This is about John, this is his dreams. He can't leave school, it's what he's wanted to do since he was five. We have to stop him. Cliff, did you finish writing that play for the four of us to do? Yeah, I have a rough draft. Dr. Hoffman said it was genius. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, Cliff, maybe Dad would fund a production of it in New York City after we graduate. Hey, you mentioned something like that last time I was home. Yeah, you mentioned it to me too. Oh, we have to do it. If even just that hope would make John stay. Hannah, you can't expect John to bail on his dad to perform one off Broadway. <laughs> Although, I sure would. Well, of course you would. Maybe John will too. Okay. Oh shit. So I hear you're giving up everything you love to be something you hate. <laughs> oh, I just knew you'd be supportive. You'd be missing a once-in-a-lifetime chance to be in an off-Broadway play. Mm-hmm. How's that? Cliff's dad, old money bags. He's gonna invest in the show Cliff wrote for the four of us. Huh. Funny Cliff wouldn't mention that until yeah, now. Okay. It's not definite, but Dad will definitely consider it. He's got the money and he thinks we're talented. He believes in us. And if you're not a part of it, we go anyway. Hmm. <laughs> nice try, guys. I know what you're trying to do. And I know you're trying to do it for me. You'd miss us. You yeah. miss. And you'll always wonder what your life could have been. I know. Acting is what I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. But this might be my chance to make something of myself, guys. Maybe it's time for me to grow up. Mom said I made a young architect. I was always great at math, she said She wasn't doing well when I came home from school to stay All her real dreams for me were dead And my brother finished up his law degree I spent another summer on the stage 
chances Overwhelmed by his demands why I stayed. Because your father said that he would be able to fund the production for us in New York. And now you're saying that might not even happen? What are you talking about? His dad already approved the proposal. Under one condition. That all four of us graduate this Saturday. <sighs> your dad's such a douche. My dad is a self-made millionaire. And if the four of us can't be trusted to graduate from college, how can we be trusted with our own production? Hmm? Hmm? And? If Cliff and I fail the theater history final tomorrow, we don't graduate. Theater history? Cliff? Did you forget? You need to write this paper for me tonight. <laughs> uh, no way, Devon. He needs to read 698 pages of theater history and brief me by 4 a.m. or I don't graduate. I have a 10-page modern theater methods paper due and my acting during monologue, and do this off for the stupid thesis scene, or I don't graduate! Hey! We all four of us have to graduate. We are in this together. <laughs> Clem, you told me that if I went to the classes, you would do the reading, and then we'd both get together to study for the exam. And? And? You didn't do the reading? You didn't go to the classes? Don't change the subject. <laughs> Listen, Anna is the theater history queen. I'll just text her to bring her notes over. We'll be golden. No, thank what God. about me? You were supposed to meet me here at 5 o'clock to write this paper. <sighs> Devon, you can write this paper. John and I will just spend five minutes going over an outline with you, and then you'll be off to the races. Get up! <laughs> We don't have time. Four minutes. Ugh, fine, but I'm keeping time. Hmm. Title. Okay. Um, obscure. Profound. Radical. Hmm. How about normal? Succinct. Uh, but not pretentious. Something theatrical. The stage. Stage left. Destination. Stage left. Political prayers. Premise. The premise is that man making statements when he can can make a difference. Conflict. Uh, it plays are seldom seen and all their audiences lean on what's the difference. Resolution. The masses must be pleased. Karl Marx beats Sophocles. Harold Pinter, down on your knees. Destination. Stage left. Wait a minute, this is the paper of the Pope, right? This is brilliant. Everybody knows that Mark 
Himself. Just no. give me the cliff notes. Cliff notes. Hi guys. Oh. I know. Anna, thank God you're still awake. You need to teach us 4,000 years of theater history in four hours and we have to pass. Did you break the couch? <laughs> Long story. We'll tell about that later. Play is in good shape, Anna. It's theater history we're in trouble with. Cliff? I can't be in your play. I thought long and hard about it. I just can't perform in hundreds of four hundreds of people with nothing on but a leather strap. Why not? Because it's degrading to women. Oh. No, it's not. You're the dominatrix! That's the joke! Fine! It's because I'm embarrassed about my body, okay? It's just too skimpy! Come on, Anna, it's no more revealing than a swimsuit. I just find her place and I can't do it. You know very well, we can't do that. You have to be in this play, and that's final. If you're not in the play, Dad doesn't go to check to the producer. Me and John are failing out of college. Now, will you please, 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 please help us to study? <laughs> if you don't fill in the clip, we're doomed to fail the class. <laughs> and not graduate. That's right. <laughs> mm, now, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Anna Kearns, what are you trying to do? Oh, I would help you, but I can barely Cliff. keep my eyes open. I'm so sleepy. Anna! Ah. <sighs> you are doing this play. This is serious. to make her, mm, make us study. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Cliff, I'm already on page three of my masterpiece. You are a genius. Cliff? Oh, well, it's finally quiet. 
in here. I can try my auditions monologue. Good morning, I'm Devon Bruder, and I'll be doing a monologue from Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Gallop pace, you fiery-footed steeds, towards Phoebus lodging such a Wagner as Phaethon would whip you to the west and bringing cloudy night immediately. Spread thy close curtain, love-performing night, that runaway's eyes may wink and Romeo leap into these arms. Oh, undocked of an unseen, lovers can do this. Lovers can do. Lovers can do. Lovers can. Damn it! This monologue sucks! Oh, what does iambic pentameter have to do with acting, anyways? My final year in college, and I'm still trying to prove to everyone I can act! It's just unfair! Oh, I haven't got the lead in a single play. Well, maybe I haven't got the leads, but I've got all the important parts. The sound of music auditions had come. I sang both my songs, had them under my thumb. I told them I had my heart set on fire. If I got the fairness, I might say see. Soon up went the list on the cardboard upstairs. I looked for my name and I saw it right there. It said none number seven. None number seven? Really? <laughs> I went to the library, studied the score. I found my three lines, couldn't find any more.
thank you, Devon, for having more consideration into my future than my own sister. You didn't go to class or read the books. It is not my fault. Why won't you help them study, Anna? Anna has a devious plan, Devon. You see, because she doesn't want to wear the leather outfit in our play, she's trying to sabotage the whole thing by refusing to help us study. Anna? If you ruin my chances to get to New York, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> Let's just do this stupid song before I fall asleep. Thank All right. you. Uh, Cliff, do that cute little intro you do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the committee, I would like to present my act two opener for my musical, Don Juan, The College Years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Bradford, and I'll be playing Don Juan. I'm Devon Bruder, and I'll be playing Elvier. I'm Anna Kearns, the sorority girl turned dominatrix queen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Cliff Kearns. I will be playing Guzman, Don Juan's best friend, and party girl number three. <laughs> all-nighter cafe and get you a triple espresso latte. Yes, come on. I don't want to. Well, too bad, come on. I don't want to. <laughs> wah, 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 come on, come on. I can't, I'm tired. Okay, I'll carry you, come here. <laughs> Wake that traitor up. <laughs> It's got me kind of frazzled, you know. Cliff, those are nightmares. You have to suffocate. You're a great writer, and I believe in you. I believe in you. Cliff, we're gonna make it. 
together. I haven't, uh, I haven't been with anyone since, since you. I don't think I'll be with anyone again. Cliff, honey, yes you will. You're not that dork you used to be freshman year. You're a writer now. And you're cute, you're sensitive, kind of smart sometimes, I guess. But not the kind of person someone falls in love with. Yes, they will. How do you know that? How's that paper of yours coming? I'm almost finished. <sighs> oh, yeah. Guys, Anna has a proposal. <laughs> I will help you study for theater history if you let me design my own costume for your show. <sighs> Nobody in New York knows us, Anna. Sex sells. <laughs> Besides, you're already on the poster. No, I'm not. What poster? Nothing, nothing. We photoshopped her head onto somebody else's body. <gasps> you did what? Anna, either way, you're gonna have to do it. Uh, do you want to be an actress or not, Anna? Uh, oh, I, I, I do, but I... Let me tell you something about being an actress in New York. It's not about being cute and pretty and getting the final bow. It's gritty and it's raw. Can you 
said you weren't jealous of me. Jealous? Jealous of a girl who never had to work for anything in her life? Hardly. I feel sorry for you, Anna. You don't have the courage. <laughs> You're always tiptoeing around the theater department, playing prim and proper, and I've had it. But I'm an actress, and you guys want me to be a stripper. No, we want you to play the part you were given. I can't believe my own boyfriend wants me to dress like a whore. I can't believe my own girlfriend is going to let me fail out of college. Picking on me. Oh, you're so selfish. You know, I am going to take these notes and stay up all night if I have to, helping the boys study. Let go. Come on, boys, let's go to the lounge. <laughs> it's strange how you can be with someone for three years and find out they don't care about you. Oh my god, she had me 
<laughs> I'm liking the leather, Anna. John, focus. <laughs> Fine. Get your book. Get your binder. It's time to study. Yeah. At least we have a prayer. Thank goodness. She is the music theater, the theater history queen. Yeah. <laughs> So, who wants to learn theater history? Good. Good, I can finish my paper. All right, guys, it's easy. The test is all essay. You've been in plays for the past four years. As long as you can remember where they fit into the theater timeline, you will be fine. Now, let's start at the beginning. Greek tragedy. Uh, Antigone! Yes! Woo. Whoa, 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 hold up. What makes it different? What role did Devon play? The chorus? Right. Right! It's narrated by a Greek chorus. Mm -hmm. And the main character always has a tragic flaw. Right. <laughs> now, the Greeks invented tragedy and comedy. Moving on. Restoration comedy. Mm. Molière. Yeah, that's Tartuffe. great. Tartuffe. Great. Uh, guys chasing women around in scanty clothing. Double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> Modern American drama. John, you did streetcar in high school. Cliff, you did picnic last year. Oh, bomber. Oh, you were great in that. Oh, hang on. Fatalistic dysfunctional people. Mm -hmm. Realistic dialogue. Right. All started by. Uh, Ibsen. Yes. Ibsen. Right. Um, Doll's House. Mm -hmm. Long wordy born. Perfect. John, we know all these plays like the back of our hands. We'll be fine. Yeah. I guess I did learn something in college, but I learned it here. <laughs> Neither of you are going to get A's, but you'll both pass. Just concentrate on your paper. Done. I'm done with this paper, with classes, and with college. Don't forget your auditions monologue tomorrow. That's not an ending. It's a beginning. It's the first in a string of millions of auditions on my way to Broadway. Our lives are about to become a bunch of auditions. I don't know. I like to think of our lives as a bunch of moments. Not years or weeks or days, but moments all lined up in a row like, like dominoes. As soon as one's over, it's gone. And it keeps pushing you forward, 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 on and on into the future until... <sighs> Here we are. It is our last collegiate all-nighter. Yeah. When I think of college, I think of this place. The green room of the theater dungeon. <laughs> but you can't, Anna. You need to flip off the lights and leave. Because this is the start of our whole lives. The bond's right. <laughs> Here's to us. To our future as actors, to New York, to everything. <laughs> this was just a dress rehearsal. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Mm. Yeah, you know what? I am going to prove to my dad that I can make a living acting. Oh, I just want to take everything with me. Every script, every costume, every prop. <laughs> I just want to be free of this place. I feel like I've been standing backstage waiting for the curtains to go up for years. I'm ready to take the world by storm and make something happen. I just want to take every moment as it is. It's beautiful. The walls, the pictures. Our favorite couch. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace. You know, uh, maybe I'll write a play about this place. Call it the green room. All I want is to be on stage. All in the world I want is to feel the heat of the light on my face. I want to lose myself in it. There's all that shit about who I am and become someone else. Some character who's much stronger than me. Someone who can live with herself. All I want to do is act. All I want to do is not stagnate. I don't want to wake up in 50 years and look back and say, what have I done with half a century? 
I want to look time in the face every day so that he knows that I'm on to him. And I want to write so I can stop time dead in its tracks. All I want to do is act. All I want to do is use what I've learned. That's all I want to do. I want to express something, anything. Emotion, love, anger, fear, sympathy, hate, lust. I want to show people that they're human. is for people to see me and know who I am. I want to get to know them just by listening to when they laugh and when they're quiet. All I want is for people to respond to me. I want to feel their reactions and move and change with the mood of the room. All I want to do is act.
Productions. This is really exciting for us. Uh, this is Reject's first show ever. Woo -woo! Yeah! So you, you made history with us here, so thank you very much. Um, this show has been trying, we've been trying to get it going for two years. Um, and it finally hit the stage, Canadian premiere, which we're really excited Woo! about. Um, the writers uh, of the show have been so supportive. So, Stephen and Chuck in LA, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'd like to say a couple things as well. Um, to Rosa Capella, where is she? Rosa, I know you're gonna hate yeah. this. Um, Rosa has been a huge support when I brought it to her back in September. I just kind of threw the idea at her. And she just said, okay, just whatever you want. So she's been a great support. This could not have been done without you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm um, all the Paramount Live team, uh, Vince and Sarah and Ashley and everybody at Wiggles and Giggles and Paramount Theatre. Thank you, thank you. Um, Kyle from the Walleye, who I think is here tonight, maybe? I don't know where he is, but thank you to him. Um, he was the first one to kind of get in touch with us and wrote a really nice piece on us. Um, Linda from The Source. Matt Scooby from Thunder Bay Television, Jeff Levine from uh, Newswatch.com, Lisa Lacko from CBC. Um, I'd like to thank Jamie, the Steel Spring team, they're in LA as well. Um, and Doug from the Chronicle Journal, um, as well as two very, very special people in my life, Denise and Russ. Where are they? Denise is over here and Russ is in the back. <laughs> this without them they very graciously and lovingly um, donated the sound for us tonight and the microphones thank you I, I, I just I don't know what else to say to you guys other than thank you thank you a million times over <laughs> um, I'm trying to think who else oh and Jonathan their son who came and helped set up <laughs> he got dragged I think out of bed at one point he got dragged here so thank you to Jonathan who's in a hockey tournament right now um, to my crew where are they they're back there come over here Come on, Come, on. Come on, let's go. On. They're all giving me whoops backstage. <laughs> um, Sarah, Leah, and Sammy, they were the first ones to jump in and say, whatever you need, Jess, we'll be there, we'll help you out. Uh, they've been wonderful putting up post, uh, posters that kept falling off the wall. <laughs> they were out here with their duct tape every night before the show. So thank you, ladies, as well as Jenna, who's at the back. She, she's been a huge fan. She's been here every night um, and helping the crew put up posters. And thank you, honey, for coming up and helping us. As well as my wonderful brother-in-law in the back, Toby. <laughs> he jumped in last minute and saved us for doing sound. So thank you. And thank you, my cousin Jenna, for volunteering his services. <laughs> Toby's been great having you. Thank you so much for all your help. Um, to my actors. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's been four months. It's been four wonderful, crazy, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, um, everybody jumped right in. Jess and Spencer and Cole, you guys are right there from the beginning. Thank you so much. I, I, I just don't want to say. Alex, who was in Toronto and said, yeah, Jess, I'll do it, and came in. She came back from school in December, and she learned the show. When did you come back? December 9th? So she's only had December 9th. So learn everything. <laughs> so thank you to the four of you um, and everybody in this room. You've truly made my dream come true. So thank you. Um, last but not least, I have a very we have a very special friend in the audience tonight, Alex Best. <laughs> she flew in from Toronto to see the show. So thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> and lastly, thank you to all of you. We would not be able to do what we love without the support of Thunder Bay, so thank you. Woo. It means the world to me. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> not lastly, because Jess is the first person in the world that would never thank herself or take any like <laughs> credit for anything. <sighs> oh dear. Jessica, Jessica, where do we start? We just love you. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> no, we're not going to cry. No, we're not going to cry. And, oh, God. No. <laughs> You're just awesome. And this shows how much I love her. <laughs> and we just want to say thank you for asking us to do this. And we need your cards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, just thank you for putting the show on because it wouldn't have been 
done if we hadn't had you and your passion and yeah. you being mean, which was really just <laughs> Jess being really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, just, just stand over there for that scene. You were fine. You were great. <laughs> and yeah, but you are awesome, and I hope you know that. And please give her a round of applause for you. <laughs>